Steelers, though, two big guys are actually three regular guys and, and some of their veteran guys out of the lineup. A.J. Jenks, R.J. Mahalik, J.R. Marsden, and Nick, uh, Nick Malia says not in the lineup as well. So you're looking at four guys that are 90-91 birth years for Plymouth, not in the lineup. So they're going with a little bit of a, a younger lineup tonight. That could give the battalion a hand here. We hear A.J. Jenks is out with a wrist injury, so he didn't even make the road trip up here. Two-man system today. Ferrer leaves it behind the net, out in front, knows it. Oh my, what a beautiful pass as he puts it tape to tape to Joe Gaynor and the Whalers lead 1-0. Just an errant pass behind the battalion net and the Whalers take advantage and lead 1-0. Well, it's a lazy play first and foremost. The battalion have got to be stronger on the puck, especially when they're in their own end. We're going to look at the replay here. See as Pereira takes it in behind the goal, tries to drop pass, but he didn't see that his man had curled the other way and then you can't necessarily say that Moore did an excellent job trying to take away the passing lane down low. You can see Moore comes in here. He's just got, got a soft stick and curls away from the play. So not much help for Colleen, and it's 1-0 for the... Two on two back the other way, staging off the bench. Makes it a three on two. Jones to Stajan, one-timer, they score! Thomas Stajan from Sean Jones, tying the game at one. What a one-time pass from Jones to Stajan. Nice feed across the slot. Unable to get back to take his man on the back check it is big number nine, Tyler Sagan. And adding to that, he's the man who gave it away in the offensive zone on a very dangerous high pass. It's beautiful play across there, and Sagan has no problem bearing that one. Way Sagan through the middle, trying to get around Clark, broken up by Ken Peroff. McCauley sharp angle, he beats Colleen, it's 2-1. Tough break there for the battalion as the puck just kind of bounced off a of Sagan's stick. And came right over to his winger who was able to put it up top. And it's 2-1 for the Plymouth Whalers. And I think that play all started because the four check for the battalion, everyone slowed down because they all thought Wedgwood was going to hold on for a faceoff. He ended up dropping and the play continued. Mikhail Jordan inside his own zone. Out in front, taken away by the battalion. Sam Carrick ties the game at two. Oh my, a game of giveaways and a game of inches. And Mikel Jordan gave one to Sam Carrick, who made no mistake about it, being Scott Wedgwood. Well, it's a nice shot, by, but by no means a pretty goal. As an ugly giveaway. That's the second ugly giveaway this game for the Whalers. It has caused the puck to get into the back of their net. But it's all forechecking presence. He's not stepping into it with a big hit, but Sam Carrick's right there on the puck carrier. And he gets in between Sagan, and if you notice, all game, Plymouth has been trying to force that puck to Tyler Sagan and let him do the rest. Strong. Around the boards for Moore behind the net. Has McLeod out in front. McLeod goes by to pick it up. Loose puck. Goodrow scores. And the battalion lead 3-2. Barkley Goodrow tucking it under the crossbar. It's 3-2 battalion. Well, it's that dogged determination we talked about. They didn't give up on the play. Nice work down low, and more deposits back on the other side. And that's what frees up space for McLeod to throw it up front. Look, more right off the draw, gets the puck, reverses the play, and that is able to draw the defenseman into McLeod, and that leaves Goodrow all alone in front. And Goodrow makes no mistake, he's a natural goal scorer, and he puts it up to see if it was a delayed offside, and that's when the hit came. Opportunity, Colleen with one save at the side of the net. Colleen slides back, dives on the loose puck with the van on the doorstep. That's big time goal tending from Colleen down. It's down the ice, that'll be icing, and leave it with four and a half seconds on the clock. The battalion looking for a big home ice victory and are just under five seconds away from that. Thorne and Stajan out there as well for the battalion. Britton off the draw again, a stalemate. It comes through and is cleared by the battalion as Matt Clark sends it down the ice. The battalion take a home ice victory. 3-2 this Sunday afternoon as Barkley Goodrow gets the game winning goal. That play right off the face off there. Sagan gets a hold of the puck, but instead of taking the shot through a screen, he tries a soft pass, and I think that was a little bit of a microcosm of the struggle that he had in tonight's game. Just couldn't seem to get that extra step or juice. 
Brampton native Scott Wedgwood made 32 saves in his performance here for the Plymouth Whalers, but the Whalers drop a 3-2 decision. We're coming back with more on Rogers TV, Brampton Battalion Hockey. Stay with us. To the team to get the win. Barkley Goodrow, honest and modest man. Very, very modest. So you got a second goal of the season. I mean, the first puck, the first goal puck is the one you usually save. Are you going to do anything with the second, or do you just give it back? No, I... Uh, watch yourself. <laughs> you, you saw that coming, though, didn't yeah, you? You yeah, knew that yeah, was coming. Yeah, yeah. You knew that was coming. And, and Stefan Thorne, just uh, for those out there, is one of the culprits. And the last time he was the first star, sitting in this same chair, he received the same treatment. So, But it must feel nice, though. Let, let's be honest, though. I mean, you know, this is your first season in the OHL. It must feel nice that, you know, you not only...